Hello students, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we'll discuss an important math topic that's tested on the ECT, vectors. Vectors, as you know, are different from scalars in that these quantities have direction. For example, the difference between displacement, which is a vector, and distance, which is a scalar, is that displacement also includes the direction in which a body moved. Similarly, velocity is a vector and speed is a scalar. So that is the difference from a definitional point of view. But how is this tested on the ACT? Let's understand. Question one, the vectors u, v, and w, and you would notice that these are donated, uh, these are denoted by uh, bold letters. So on the ACT, when you see a bold letter that indicates a vector, the vectors u, v, and w are represented in the standard coordinate plane. And you can see that each vector has a, a scalar value, which is the length of the vector, and it has a direction. So u is along the y-axis, w is along the x-axis, and v is in the first quadrant. In what direction will the vector u minus v plus w point? So when we have u minus v plus w, you can also write vectors with an arrow sign on top. Then the easiest thing to do is to first add u and w, addition of two vectors. So how do we add two vectors? If we have to add two vectors, we bring one vector to the end of the other vector. What do I mean by that? So there is w here. And if I need to add u to it, I will simply bring u here, right? So I have simply shifted u from where it was to the right, right? Since vectors are directional, the direction of u stays the same, that doesn't change. And the scalar value, the unit value of u also stays the same. So this also is vector u. There's no difference between this and the original vector. Now, what is the final vector u plus, two, u plus w? That will be this vector, u plus w. So when I need to add two vectors, I bring one like this. And let's say the other vector is like this. So I'll put the beginning of the vector at the end of the first vector. And then the final vector, the solution, the sum vector will be from the beginning to the end of the second vector. So that's how I find the sum. Now, if this is u plus w, and if I subtract v from this, then I can see that the direction of u plus w and v seems almost the same. But the final vector will obviously be less in quantity because the measure of v is subtracted from u plus w. So I can say that this vector, the same direction, but I'm subtracting the measure of v is u plus w minus v. So this is the final vector. And you can see that it points up and to the right, right? It is up and to the right. It's in the first quadrant. And so, uh, the answer is option A. Okay, let's do another question. Question two. Representatives of vectors U, V, P, Q, and R are shown in the standard X, Y coordinate plane below. One of the following vectors is equal to the vector U plus V, which one? Okay. So we need to add u plus v. So again, to add u plus v, I will simply bring v here, right? So I have simply taken the direction and the measure of v, and I have brought it here. So u plus v will simply be this vector. Right, because as we discussed, you take the first vector, at the end of that, you put the second vector and then you join the first point to the final point and that's the sum. Now you can see that u plus v is this vector. 
And you have these options, minus R, minus Q, minus P, P and Q. Now, if you notice vector Q, vector Q is seems to be the same length as U plus V and also has the same direction. So vector u plus vector v is simply going to be vector q. What about negative vector r? This is vector r. So negative vector r will simply be the same measure, but opposite direction, right? And that is no similarity with vector u plus v. So this is out. Negative vector q, same measure as q, but opposite direction. Again, that's not correct because we see that u plus v is pointing upward, so it's q. Negative vector p, same measure as p, but opposite direction. Again, that's not u plus v and neither is vector p. So q is the vector which is equivalent to u plus v. Question three, the vector i represents one mile per hour east and the vector j represents one mile per hour north. So another thing that you should remember is the concept of unit vectors. And unit vectors are denoted by i cap, j cap and k cap. So i cap is unit vector in the direction of the positive x-axis J cap is the unit vector in the direction of the positive y axis. And K cap is the unit vector in the direction of the positive z axis. So if I try and denote this in the three dimensional plane, then I cap is unit vector in this direction. J cap is unit vector in this direction. And K cap is the unit vector in the z axis direction. So when I say 8 i cap, it means that this is a vector whose measure is 8 units and which points to the positive x-axis direction, right? When I say 8 i cap plus 4 j cap, how will this look? So let me just clear this. Um, actually, I can remove the z-axis also. So if I'm trying to show 8 i cap plus 4 j cap, so 8 i cap will be 8 units. Let's say this is 8 comma 0. So 8 units in the positive uh, x direction. So this vector is 8 i cap. Let's say this point is 0 comma 4 then this vector is 4 j cap, right? So what is the sum? I will simply bring 4 j cap here as we do. And then this value, this vector going this way and the value, the measure we'll just find would be 8 i cap plus 4 j cap. Okay, what will be the measure of this vector? The measure which is also known as the absolute value of the vector 8 i cap plus 4 j cap. That will simply be under root of 8 squared plus 4 squared by Pythagoras theorem. So 64 plus 16, which is square root of 80. So we have a vector whose measure is square root of 80 and which points to the right and up. Right? So this is what we mean by unit vectors. Now here we have vector i. Again, you can say i or i cap. i cap is preferred because that represents the unit vector. The vector i cap represents one mile per hour east and the vector j cap represents one mile um, per hour north. So here again, you see that we have exactly what we discussed, i cap is one mile per hour east. So i cap is in this direction and j cap is one mile per hour north. This is east, this is north, 
This is west and this is south. Maria is jogging south at 12 miles per hour. One of the following vectors represents Maria's velocity. Which one? So if she's jogging south, then this is her direction, which is negative J cap because J cap is north. So negative J cap is south. And if she is jogging at 12 miles per hour, it would be minus 12 J cap. So the vector that represents Maria's velocity is option B minus 12 J cap. Okay, the vector I cap represents one mile per hour east and the vector J cap represents one mile per hour north. So this is similar to the previous question. I cap in on the positive X axis and J cap on the positive Y axis. According to her GPS at a particular instant, Tia is biking 30 degrees west of north at 16 miles per hour. Okay, so west of north is going to be this, 30 degrees west of north at 16 miles per hour, right? So the measure of the vector is 16. One of the following vectors represents Tia's velocity at that instant, which one? So if I drop a perpendicular like this, right? Then this is a right triangle and I can use trigonometric ratios to find the values of this and this, right? So let's say this is A, B and C. So AB over 16 will be sine 30, right? Because sine is opposite over hypotenuse and sine 30 is one by two. So AB is eight, right? This is eight. Similarly, BC over 16 is cos 30, which is root three by two. So this cancels with 16. So BC is eight root three, right? So how do I determine the vector? I can see that vector CA, which is actually Tia's velocity, which is what we have to find, is vector CB plus vector BA, because CB plus BA will give you CA by the concept of addition. Now, vector CB is going to be 8 root 3 J cap, because CB is in the direction of J cap which is the unit vector multiplied by the measure. And vector BA, vector BA is opposite direction of I cap. So this would be minus eight I cap, right? Because plus eight I cap will be in this direction, but I need it in this direction. So it will be minus eight I cap. So the velocity vector for Tia is minus eight I cap plus eight root three J cap, minus eight I cap plus eight root three J cap, option B. So that was a quick exercise on vectors. Hope this was useful. If it was, hit like and subscribe to the channel. There is a series on the channel called ACT Only Math Topics, in which I discuss topics like matrices, polar coordinates, advanced trigonometry that are only tested on the ACT and not SAT math. So do check those out if you're taking the test. Let me know in the comment section what other videos you'd like me to upload. I'll see you guys in a new video soon. Take care. Bye-bye.